time for a big game break on as always live odds SBR odds and sports book review check out the rating guide make sure you're betting with a trustworthy shop out there game two Sunday five o'clock Pacific ABC Warriors opened eight 221 and a half quickly bet up to eight and a half and nine I hope Rihanna's at the game again Ooh, beautiful uh how about this Nate Silver tweet Teddy yeah yeah we talked about that uh, in the opening segment of the show but it's worth reading again here Nobody will care unless they win the series, but the Warriors just achieved the highest ELO rating in NBA history. Of course, ELO rating uh, is the 538.com advanced metric stat to indicate how good NBA teams are. And right now, based on their numbers, and boy, based on this year's postseason, it's hard to argue about that. Golden State is playing at a different level than everybody else. Bad news for the Cavs. Green and Thompson go 6 of 28. Still get blown out. More bad news for the Cavs. LeBron had eight assists. All other Cavs only had seven. Good news for the Cavs. LeBron and Love had more rebounds than all the Golden State starters and won the boards 59-50. to But you got to get something out of Tristan Thompson. You know, he's chasing that Kardashian skirt, going to come back to bite him. 22 minutes, doesn't score three rebounds, and there was zero rim protection when he was out. Yeah, and, and that's the issue that Cleveland's going to have when you talk about what adjustments can the Cavs make. Well, Tristan Thompson's got to be a legitimate low-post defender and a legitimate rebounder and a guy who can get putbacks. He has to provide that role for Cleveland. If he doesn't, you know, they're already dogs. <laughs> now, uh, they'll be in a world of hurt. That did not happen in game one. But without him on the floor, it's even worse because they're right. There's absolutely no rim protection when he was out. Drive after drive. Uh, I mean, the, the, the only reason the Warriors missed all of those layups <laughs> is because they got to the hoop again and again and again. So if that continues for Golden State, it's going to be a short series, and Cleveland knows it. So uh, if you ask me who's the most important player for the Cavs to have a better game in Game 2 than he did in Game 1, Tristan Thompson would be absolutely number one on that list for me when you're trying to handicap Cleveland moving forward. What would you do? I mean, be, well, also because remember the Warriors missed 15 layups in that game. Could they should have been up? They could have been up 30 at the half. Sure, uh, they probably should have been up 30 at the half. I actually thought about taking some Cleveland plus two and a half at halftime. The adjusted game line being plus ten and a half at that point, because I'm like, wow, you know, the Warriors dominated this first half. They're only up eight. Cavs can't play worse. Well, turns out the Cavs could play worse. <laughs> uh, and it was a wager that I debated and then didn't make, which I was, you know, I already had Cleveland in my pocket. I didn't need more uh, at the time. But, you know, what impressed me about, you know, you want to talk about Clay Thompson. He didn't let the bad shooting night impact his defense. He was really solid on the defense. And I know we shot three of 16 uh, and 0 of 5 from three point land. But, you know, look at the tweet right here from ESPN Stats and Info. The Cavs shot one of 12 when Clay Thompson was a primary defender in game one, and 10 of those 12 shots were contested by Thompson. We talked about it on yesterday's sports bit, or the quote from Clay Thompson saying, I take pride in my defense, whether the shot's falling or not. That was legitimately on display last night. J.R. Smith, 28 minutes, three points. D. Will, 19 minutes, didn't score. Corver, 20 minutes, didn't score. Yikes, not exactly a good bench either with Cleveland. But again, all these guys they brought in can't defend. And another thing, too. You might look at the total in game two because what I like out of Golden State, how about, how about the uh, Cleveland transition defense? How about J.R. Smith getting out of the way with some of these Durant dunks here too? So if I'm Golden State and Mike Brown, push it, push it, let's go, frenetic pace. It also wears out LeBron James and he can't really guard Kevin Durant because he'll be spent. Yeah, and uh, I mean, look, the, the, the one play where uh, J.R. Smith... Just was like, ah, I'm going to go guard the three-point shooter over there, Durant. You, you just go straight to the hole and transition. I mean, like, you learned that in, what, junior high basketball? You know, stop the ball on the fast break. You know, it's not, uh, uh, J.R. Smith didn't want any part of it, uh, obviously. And that was one of those posterized kind of a play that it really stood out. But certainly, from a defensive standpoint, the Cavs are going to have issues in this series. And you ask yourself, what do you do if you're Cleveland? You know, they had some success in the finals two years ago when they mucked it up. You know, they didn't win the series, but they played a very different style of offensive basketball than we see now, and it kept them competitive. I don't know that the Cavs can play that style now. I don't know that they want to play that style now 
But if you ask me what I do, maybe you muck it up a little bit if you're Cleveland and you try to slow it down because but that's not how the Cavs, that's not how this year's team is wired. That's not how they play their best basketball. They play at their best when they're running and gunning. They just didn't make a whole lot of shots last night. I don't know that that happens again in game number two quite the same way. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.